All right, good afternoon, everyone. Sun's just going down. It's been a real nice day today. Got the F1 spreader going at the moment. Just come down to the springers to check what cows I've carved. I know there's two that are carved and there's one on the job right there. She's laying down. I can just see the feet sticking out. So I've got these uh, temporary tags to put on the calves so we know who belongs to who. Just had the vet out to carve a cow. The, it was a dead calf. There were um, so the two front feet were up, but the head was tucked down, and the there was also one back foot coming up. So not sure uh, what was the go there, but we got it sorted. And we also had. Two cows with milk fever. So we've had 13 cows calve, two cows have had milk fever, and one cow has had it twice. So I've been treated and they're up now. Haven't had any today, but uh, they're getting dusting on the grass. The lates are getting dusting as well. And they're also getting um, magnesium sulfate through the water. So uh, I'm not sure. Calf looks like it's got no tail. <laughs> I'm gonna check this one. That cow, she's got the feet and the head sticking out. That's number 34. There's no tail. <laughs> this girl, just gonna stick a band on. Six. So this girl here's carving. We'll leave you be. Pretty amazing. I was just watching that calf, I could see it blinking. <laughs> it's just got its feet and head sticking out. She's a good mum, that one. A bit hard chase. So that calf seems fine. Everything uh, appears to be there. So we'll uh, take a picture and send that to LIC. I've we got another calf up this way. The other one that's carved is over here in the corner. How's everyone else's carving going so far? We don't start till the first. We've got 13 in it, like I said before. So uh, I feel it's a bit slow, but cows are still a bit light. Not where we'd like them, but that's how it's going to be. That's not your mum. I don't think. Is it? Mm. Yes, that's your mum. 62. Right, so I've put a temporary tag on that fella. He's a boy. So he will be a bobby calf because anything that's in the AB period uh, that's a bull goes on the bobby. We have kept four for ourselves so they're going to be tailing the this year's calves and then we've got also one for the IHC that we're rearing so we've got five bulls that we've already tagged and we'll be rearing those but anything else that calves in, pretty, in the first uh, three weeks which is the AB period it's a bull is a bobby that's how it is
to stalk it. Just about out. The calf's just clearing his earwaves. There you go. If she got up now, it would uh, fall out. But she's doing really well. It's actually one of the section when we brought up my parents was left over on the farm. Come on. There you go. It's not a bad thing at hanging there. It's actually helping the uh, clear the airwaves, please. Untangle you. That's a heifer, so that's one that we'll be keeping. There we have it, calf born. Right, I'll let her clean that one up and we will carry on. It's nice having a small springer mob. I always go for having a small one because it's easy to get them out and uh, also a bit easy to feed a smaller mob. They always seem to get better fed. Um, yeah, so. Good to get the effluent on the grass. Right, that's it for this video. I'm gonna head back now, it's starting to cool down a bit. Sun's gone down, so, ooh, what's that? I'll catch you somewhere else on the farm. See ya.